I'd like to talk a little bit about the diaries that I make every year of my year. You know, photography is, is, is memory, ultimately. And the way our memories work, or at least the way my memory works, is that there's some things that, you know, that are floating on, on top of my brain, and then there's a lot of memories that they, they kind of just sink away. They're there, you can access them, but you need the right, you need the right key to access them. And, and for me, that key is often photographs. And while it's important for me to put in pictures that I consider good pictures, well-crafted, maybe nice color, beautiful light, powerful moments, equally important is just the memories themselves. A picture of my niece asleep as my mom reads her a book. A picture of the whole family gathered for Christmas dinner. But this was also 2020, and so in January, as these pictures were taken, images of family togetherness and intimacy quickly change into the images of the political tension that began to rock the nation, followed by the early stages of the pandemic. But these are meant to be private things. I don't, I don't publish these diaries. I make them, I make them for myself. And I think the best way to understand ourselves in a way is to understand our history and how we felt about it at the time, which we can remember through our pictures, and perhaps how we feel at it at the moment when we look back. And I think it's an important lesson in a way for everyone. You don't have to be a photojournalist going throughout the world photographing dramatic subjects to make an interesting diary of your life. All you have to do is be mindful of the things that are happening around you and at the end of the year you'll have a portrait of your year that you might not in a way you wouldn't think about it otherwise because memory for all of us becomes kind of murky as time goes by some memories remain others disappear but almost all memories can be accessed when we have a kind of cue to remember them oftentimes that cue is the photograph it's not just about the picture itself, it's about what the picture represents. And that's one of the main reasons why I make these diaries. It's, it's an act of remembrance, and it's an act to jog memory as well. And as time goes by, the pictures of the things that you lose or you, you fear to lose become all the more important. When I look through this book, I see pictures of my grandfather um, in his last years. And on the one hand, I see images of, of the decline of his health and, and his mind. But I also see the last pictures of his sense of humor and his joy for life and his kind of mischievousness and, and, and his deep love and sometimes his flaws and all those things. You know, all those things, if they're not in the picture, itself, it's in my memory that the picture represents. And that's why this is important to me. And that's why I think this is important, could be important for everyone. You know, these are universal things. I definitely think, I definitely think that making the diaries makes me a better photographer. That's for a few reasons. The first is that it forces the discipline of editing. I think we all know that it's easy to take pictures and it's kind of hard to do something with those pictures. Mostly we let them kind of collect proverbial dust on our phones. Sometimes we do nothing with them. And I think this is an important thing for anyone interested in getting into photography is that editing is a process. The more you look at the pictures, the more you know what what you like, what, what, hold, what pictures hold up on a second viewing, on a third viewing, on a fifth viewing, on a tenth viewing. And from there, by the end of it, you have a pretty good idea of what it is you like and why. And I think it's something that everyone can do if they want to, 